Hello, it's Wednesday. <laughs> All right, so for today's Chamel sketch, this is our sketch. Um, I am going to play with it quite a bit. So I have two photos and I have a wood grain background. This background is from Maggie Holmes Bloom. It's called Lizzie. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use I'm going to flip this embellishment with the photo. So my I'm going to use two photos and they're going to be up here like this. And then I'm going to have this piece. My thought on this piece is that this is going to be like a title block. And what I use for that title block, I don't know, um maybe if I have like a cute project life photo something. But there. And I'm not going to use uh, like a craft background. I'm going to use a wood grain background. Uh, other than that, together, um, I don't know what product I'm using. So I have my How to Kill a Kit with Style for October pulled out. I also have this Jelly Bean Soup Chit Chat Chowder pulled out because when I was kind of looking, I, I was looking and I thought maybe like... This little polka dot with the green, that would look really pretty with the photo if it works. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing some sort of combination of uh, some items from my How to Kill a Kit with Style, some items from Jelly Bean Soup, Chit Chat Chowder, um, and hopefully that gives me enough product. I don't have to go digging into my stash, but we'll see and go from there. And so, yeah. So a lot of this... Um, this is a really easy layout. If you watch Chamel's video, she did it with all scraps. And that might be how I go with those papers. I, I really don't know how I'm going to set it up. Uh, but I do know that to start, I want to put some, use some of the white paint splatters coming down. I love that part of her layout. And so I want to do that. But I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to grab some acrylic paint and water it down and splatter. So... All right, let's go to fast forward and see how this comes together. Okay, so to begin with, I know that I want to add some nice white splatters onto my background paper. I'm going to grab some Prima Imposter paint. I'm going to spray it with some water to water it down really well. And then I'm just going to get an old raggedy paintbrush. The older the better, the raggedier the better. I really think the fluffier paintbrush is the better splatters it makes. And so I'm just going to fill that paintbrush all up with white splatters. And I'm going to sp splatter liberally. Really, really liberally. Because I know that most of this layout is going to be... Um, most of this layout is going to be covered. Most of the splatters are going to be covered. I can't talk today. It's been a day. <laughs> As you can tell, because this video is going up crazy later than usual. I try to have my Chevelle Wednesday videos up by 10 a.m., but today it was not happening. Uh, so I'm just going to continue on here. And I'm going to splatter and splatter until everything is lovely. Now, I set it off to dry and then I kind of went through both of the product kits I pulled. So I went through the Chit Chat Chowder from Jelly Bean Soup and I went through my How to Kill a Kit with Style and I pulled elements from both. So I'm going to mark this. I'm going to count this as a How to Kill a Kit with Style layout because uh, most of the products came from there but a couple came from just the Chit Chat Chowder. I'm going to start with my photo mat. I'm going to map both my photos onto this paper from Jelly Bean Soup. And then I'm going to use a ton of scraps. So you can see all those little scraps there. And I also cut a three inch strip from this Amy Tangerine paper because it was just the right tone of that tealy blue that I want to make a prominent part of this layout. I'm going to place that down across the bottom of the page and then I'm going to just start layering things up. So I'm going to, some of my elements you can see here are going to have an inking of 
Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Distress Oxide Ink, just a small inking. So some of them will and some of them won't. I wanted to have some inked edges, but I also didn't want the inking to be super prominent. And the way that I deal with that is by not quite inking everything. And as long as you ink enough, so to speak, <laughs> it doesn't look strange or out of place. So I'm just going to continue on here. I'm going to be layering up all of these little bits and pieces until I'm happy that uh, everything is okay. I don't cut anything down. I'm not cutting anything down. I'm not, um, this is exactly how the strips were in my, in my kit and I'm just going to go with what I have here. Uh, I am going to uh, place, I place a lot of these down and most of them get ink, I think, and then I'm going to banner cut some because I'm going to create that top element at the, the, that banner element at the top. I need to just like hit stop, get a drink, and start over. Okay, my voice is better now. I got chocolate too, maybe that helped. Okay, so I have this polka dot paper. I have this last little strip of cardabella and this text paper, and I'm gonna layer them all up just like that and glue them all down. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, place my photos. So I love how these layers came out. I think they're colorful, I think they're fun, and I really enjoy it when patterns are kind of all by the same company and have the same tones and things just kind of work. There ends up being a lot of kind of randomness on this page, but at the same time, it's a page about a little boy. He was probably only eight months old at this in these photos. This is my nephew, Gavin, and he was only um, six, seven, probably like eight or nine months old. And he just has this beautiful big smile on his face, so we can put all the randomness on this page and all just the fun stuff. There are pineapples on this page. And it just all works together really well. And part of that is because most of this collection is jelly bean soup. And I just think jelly bean soup collections, they're kind of like Maggie Holmes collections where they all just go together and you can work seamlessly between lines and everything will match and go together very, really, really well. So I decided I need a little more pineapples down here at the bottom of the page. These photos were also taken in June, so for me, June is pineapples and trees and dogs with glasses, apparently, because we're gonna put those on this layout, too. So I'm gonna continue on here. I just wanna use as many of these paper scraps as I can. I know that I want that little love to be part of my title. And here's the dog with the glasses, a little sunshine, and a pineapple. And so those are the three die cuts we are definitely going to be using as part of this layout. So I had to run over to my stash because to finish out my title, I needed some thickers or some letter stickers. And I went with these pink paisley stickers. These are from the Again and Again collection, but they're so gorgeous. I have three packs of these thickers, and um, I think I might need more. So they're a wood grain with like this peachy pink foam behind them and they're so, so, so nice. So I was super excited uh, when I put them down and they just worked. They worked with all of my inking, they worked with the dark brown puppy, they worked with the wood grain. So the title is gonna be Love Your Smile. And now I'm going to go ahead and um, take a look and see what st stamps I can use for this layout. I knew that I wanted to pull in these cute stamps from Ink Road Stamps and the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. These are part of my How to Kill a Kit with Style. And there were a couple sayings that were just too perfect for a little boy page not to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna free range stamp all these. So I'm gonna grab my acrylic blocks and I'm just going to stamp different areas of the layout. I'm gonna use the Distress Oxide inks and I'm gonna use those in Vintage Photo. And I have a couple areas that I end up stamping. This one says, always ready for adventure, which look at that face. How could you not do that? How could you not add always ready for adventure? I just got some, on a completely different note, I just got some new photos developed of these little monkeys, Gavin and his brother. 
and so there'll be more layouts of them coming up shortly. So I have this one that says something about being rad, you're rad, or it's rad, something rad. <laughs> and I'm going to put that one above this. So I'm really going to be doing a lot of stamping on this layout, a lot of different ears. Oh, I thought I was going to put it down there, but then I decided I liked it better up at the top. So I've kind of gone off the the sketch now big time. I totally just, I got to this point where I had the photos and the scraps of paper and the banners at the top, and I'm just going to go my own way from here. Um, initially, I had thought I was going to grab like a Project Life card to put across the other side, but I didn't want to. And I loved all these beautiful patterns from Jelly Bean Soup, and I loved how they set off that wood grain paper in the background. So I added just the month that all that these photos were taken, and now I'm going to create a little cluster right there. I'm going to grab my label punch, and I'm going to punch some more adorable pineapple paper. Originally, I was going to use this heart one, but I couldn't get the punch... Like, there wasn't enough paper there for me to be able to punch it without the hearts being, like, backwards or upside down. And I didn't want upside down hearts. So, you want the pineapples instead. I'm going to use some foam tape to pop up this label. And then I'm going to use the foam thickers, the pink paisley letters. I don't know what to call them. They're not technically, like, thickers. They're... I guess pink paisley letter stickers, maybe, kind of? Anyway, I'm going to pop up that label and then put the year the photo was taken on that label. And so the last thing I want to do is I want to bulk up this area at the top here a little bit. I decide I really want to use that hello sticker and I want to use the stamp that says wild child. And so I decide to add one more banner of that kind of dotty paper from Amy Tangerine. And I'm going to put that up at the top. And then, because the hello was like just blending in with my pineapples, which I didn't, I wanted it to be like a little more contrast. And then I'm going to use this cute little wild child stamp. And I'm going to stamp the little wild child underneath. And then, so this whole time... Part of this stamp set is these little, this adorable little like lion head and there's a little uh, monkey, like those barrel of monkey monkeys that are supposed to all like click together. And I haven't used either one of those stamps, but I really, really, really wanted to use one of them. And after contemplating it for like all of this layout, I decide on the little lion head because we've got this whole random thing going, might as well just keep up with it, right? And then I decide that I don't just want to put one lion head, I'm going to put three. So there's a nice uh, triangle of lion heads that your eye can kind of follow. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, do I want to just go for it and add two more lion heads because they're cute? And this layout is already crazy random. Yes. Yes, I do. So the last little finishing touches on this little layout will be these three little lion heads. And then we are all done. I hope you've enjoyed this layout today. It's a little crazy, a little random, super bright and fun, um, perfect for photos of a cute little boy laughing his head off. Right? Right. Okay. So I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you again next week. A little earlier in the day that time, okay? All right. See you later. Bye.